Bootstrap Scene. What is it and why should you care? We'll get into that in this video, and as always, you can learn more about this and many more topics over on our knowledge base. And if you have any questions or just want to chat, pop over to our Discord server. Before we get started though, a word from our sponsor, me. Become a GitHub sponsor today and get instant access to Heathen Source Repository. Source Repository gives you instant access to Steamworks, FizzKit, UX, and the rest of Heathen's core assets, as well as sponsor exclusives like our UGUI tools for Steam. Sponsors can install all of Heathen's great assets and sponsor exclusives right from the Unity Package Manager for a streamlined install and update experience. Installing from our source means you have instant access to new assets, features, updates, and fixes as they occur, as well as formal issue and feedback tracking and priority support from Heathen engineers. As a sponsor, you're licensed to use the Heathen IP under the Heathen Standard License, which is a simple and far more flexible and indie-friendly license than seen from other sources, and is yours to keep even if you end your sponsorship. That's right, you can end your sponsorship at any time and keep using what you have installed under the Heathen Standard License. Ending your sponsorship only removes access to the source repository. It does not end the license agreement. If you do end your sponsorship and later need access back, simply renew your sponsorship and drive on. Sponsoring us on GitHub is the best way to do more with Heathen. For just 10 bucks, you get instant access to all our core assets, access to exclusives, better licensing terms, and you can cancel any time keeping what you have. Learn more at the links in the description or head over to github.com slash sponsors slash heathen engineering and start sponsoring heathen today. Bootstrapping. What is it and why should you care? For a bit of background, the word itself, where does it come from? Well, you'll see similar in phrases such as pull yourself up by your bootstraps, generally meaning to self-start from scratch. In computing though, we're specifically referring to a process that starts up a larger system from scratch. That is, when you say boot up the PC or boot up a game, boot in that context is just a short form of bootstrap, to boot up. So when we say a bootstrap scene, what we mean is that scene that starts up our game from nothing. It's our first scene that gets the game ready to go. As a Unity developer, you'd create a bootstrap scene. This is the first scene in your build and the one which handles the initial startup of your game. It's where you would define all those global things like your main camera, cinemachine brain, event system, audio listener, and of course any system initialization logic you might have like Steamworks or network managers. Importantly, this is not your main menu or title scene. The bootstrap scene typically has no user input at all. It doesn't present a menu. Sometimes we cram the splash screen in there alongside the loading screen or error dialog, but the bootstrap scene is not a point of user input. The idea is this scene should be lightweight, fast to load, and make sure the user's environment and any dependent systems are all ready to go before we go loading the game proper. It also means we can gracefully handle notifying the user of issues and shutting down politely, as opposed to the crash to desktop experience we see far too often. The bootstrap scene can be a handy place to put your splash screen and affiliates, as well as core systems like your loading screen, error handling dialog, and bug reporting UI. Just remember, the goal is a lightweight, fast loading scene. Its purpose in life is to ensure that the user's environment and the game's dependent systems are fit for purpose and ready to run, or if not, that the user is notified and things close out nicely as opposed to a crash to desktop or system lockup. As to creating the bootstrap scene, mechanically, it's just a regular scene, so create it as you would any other scene. The value of the bootstrap scene comes in how you use it, chiefly the ability to validate the environment and integrated systems before you go loading the rest of your game up. What this means for your game will vary depending on what you're using in your game. For example, if you're building a Steam game, you would initialize Steam in your bootstrap scene, wait for it to respond back that it has initialized, and perhaps even validate that it's initialized as the app ID you expect. Then, and only then, would you load the title scene. Using a bootstrap scene as opposed to the title or main scene as your first scene in your game affords you the opportunity to validate the environment, initialize any dependent systems, and to handle any initial problems with a degree of grace. It can make your game feel like it loads much faster and is much more responsive compared to a game that loads an eye candy filled main menu as its initial scene. If you found this information useful and would like to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to support Heathen in making more content like this, be sure to check out our GitHub sponsor page. There's a link in the description below. We'll also have links to sample scenes where you can see how to set up a bootstrap scene.